hi guys welcome back again in this video we are going to discuss how to convert sky to binary and binary to sky that was the problem in last video so we are going to see what is the real problem and how we can solve it so before we like proceed further i hope you guys like had a look at this programming model like this one and the microprocessor registers and also I am going to use loop and jump instructions. I will mention the page number and references in this book so that you can have a look. So let's see if I go with decimal zero, what is the output on console? So this was the program guys. So if I just comment out uh, most of the code and just print zero. So if I do that, I get nothing because because zero is null. But if I print thirty three, I should get an exclamation mark. And I hope I get it. Yeah, I do get it. You see there is this exclamation mark at 33 decimal and if you want one we can do 49 yeah it is one and if we want to get a, a uh, we can simply do the same old stuff and this is a but let's see how we can solve it and why does this happen really so as i said earlier the sky code for zero starts at 48 which is which is 30 in hexadecimal because you know 3 into 16 is 48 so that's how it goes so if you want one you use 49 if you want two you use 50 and if you want an A, you can use 65 directly, the decimal code. But yeah, we will be needing an hexadecimal code in some case. Let's do a simple code to take an ASCII input and I print the binary output of it. So that will be simple guys. So that's how we can do it. So I will be needing a loop because like we got to print eight digits. Okay, so let's start the simple stuff first. Let's take the input so let me just uncomment the code that we already had. So this is the code to take an input. I think this was it. Yeah, so this was it. Let me just comment out this stuff. Now and if I run this. Yeah, this is the code to take input now our challenge is to print the output so let me just move whatever we take input into dl which is here let's be on the safe side and move it to bl instead because we use dl to print out messages okay so let's do this and now we have to like if i just can visualize what just happened guys so if I enter 48, so 48 will be converted to binary code and will be just like converted to 8 binary digits because like 48 will require like 2 to the power 5 is 32 so it will require at least 6 bits to do it and like so let's see what is the binary code for it if I can find a binary to sky table so it will make the computation faster for us uh, i needed a table yeah we got a table so 48 yeah this is 48 which is 30 so 48 this is 48 so this will be in bl and we want to output zero so let's see how we can do it we have to print every single bit of it 
okay so let's see how we will do it so let's have a loop first and i'm going to just initialize cl with 8 because we have to print 8 digits and yeah just do some simple stuff but make the boilerplate first loop over loop over so this is our label which we have to loop over and what loop will do is like it will decrement cl every time and it will check if cl becomes zero and it will stop if it does so let's do our code now so what we have currently at our hand is we have a bill registered which has eight bits and we have to print we have to print eight bits so this is how you comment okay so remember we have to move whatever we want to print in df okay but i have a simple logic so let's see how we can do it okay so let's initialize ah with 0 2 because we want to print a single character and then just shift left bl and okay so let's see what shift left does so s uh, sorry shl bl will move 0 0 1 1 0 0 1 1 okay so if i have these 8 bits shl will make them 0 0 1 1 0 0 1 1 0 okay so what it will do is it will move away 1 bit so if even if i had this it will move away the utmost 1 bit and it will shift the rest of the bits left by 1 and yeah we have to shift by 1 so this is what will do okay so yeah so where does this leftmost bit go so it will go to the c c in the flag or i will say the flag as register okay so this is how it will happen and we will get access to the leftmost leftmost bit in c but we cannot directly print c so we will be needing some jump instructions to do that instead we cannot directly use c so we will be needing some jump instruction conditional jump instructions if i may say to do this okay so let's shift bl by one and let's check if jump if carry okay so we will jump if there is an carry and we will jump to print one okay otherwise we will move dl with 48 and just do in 21 h okay okay so let's see how it goes so if we jump if there is an carry so which means c is one so we will print one and we will do this otherwise so jump if not carry so we need to do this because yeah so let me explain it to you guys so if c is so c becomes zero we want to print zero which is this so we will need uh, three labels instead so if this happens we just directly jump to just print and just print is this just print so okay so let me explain to you guys so don't have a carry or we do have a carry so if we do have a carry we will print one because like the left most bit will be one so we go to print one and we just print one and just again loop over but if we don't have uh, this carry set 
which means we have carrier 0 we will move dl with 48 and then go to just print which is this and just loop over again okay so let's see if it works in our case okay let me see if it does okay guys so let's see if it does so zero yeah i didn't i guess i made some mistake um i think i did so i enter zero and it printed all zero so i entered a zero it should be a little bit this with this it should be 48 i figured out why it happened because yeah we moved zero into bl and then we move al into bl before we executed this 01h okay so now it should work so zero and yeah it did the output correctly so let's print uh the number is okay and we have to print it so let's print it here so if i run this now it should give the correct output that we expect yeah so it should give 48 which is as much as i know zero zero double one and the rest is zero so zero zero double one rest is zero and we can try out uh, some other numbers so if i give capital a it gives 65 it is one and then 64 and if i give one it should give 49 that is this so yeah the binary to sk is working so yeah let's do the opposite now which is a little bit tricky but not that much so we have to just like do the vice versa of this process like we have to just do the reverse okay so let me just delete this comments and let's just take the input now so we have to just take the input and store it somewhere okay so enter the binary number okay and ask i is as we characterize okay so yeah bl is zero again and we just loop over eight times again and then this time we just need to take the input m21h and subtract l from 30h or 48 because like we will be taking uh, digits as input as in the beginning okay so let's start with digits so subtract it and add it to bl and then shift left bl by one so rest of the code remains same just this stuff okay shift left bl1 or yeah i think this will do it yeah this will do it and okay and then we just have to print out bl okay so we have to print out bl so move dl with bl and it should work i guess it should work it should work so if i give zero zero one one zero 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 it gave zero and if i give zero zero one one zero 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 one it give one yeah it does it did work and if i give zero one zero 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 which is four zero five zero and one one it gives a so it works perfectly 
yeah as i expected yeah it does work correctly so if if i repeat what we just did is we take an input we subtract 48 from it because like we want the bcd out of it so okay so if i give zero it will be 48 and we just need the zero so we do 48 minus 48 which becomes zero indeed yeah okay so it becomes zero if i give zero zero one one zero 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 so the first bit will be zero and it will be read as 48 and we need to store it as zero so what we will do is 48 minus 48 is zero so we store zero and so on and so forth we do it for one and one is red as 49 and we do 49 minus 48 which becomes one and we store one indeed so yeah so if it is one we add it to bl which was zero and we shift it right uh sorry we shift it left so if it was all zero oh four, eight, six seven eight we add one to it which is zero 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 one and we shift it left which becomes zero 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 one zero okay so the next time we take some input if it is one it we will add it again to bl and it becomes this this so yeah you see how it works and we go on reporting <coughs> and we go on repeating it and until we get all the eight bits in as input and then our final number will be like in this case it will be zero zero one one zero 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 yes so it would be this so so yeah so the binary to ascii and ascii to binary is pretty easy program we see like we use some jump instruction in la the last program and some in this one we use loop again in this one so these are some handy instructions you should know loop and jump instruction like they will come pretty handy in microprocessor programming so thank you guys for watching this video i hope like it helped and if it did please do hit the like button and subscribe to the channel do share it with your friends and let me know in the comments if you need any help thank you